those travel games we brought. Why don't you pull those out? Um, um, I don't think these were designed for the driver to be playing too. What? Come on. Oh. I suspect these were meant to distract kids on long drives. What kind of games do you have for distracting drivers? I'm not sure drivers should be distracted. <laughs> We should have brought those trivia games. You could ask me questions while we drove. Crossword puzzle? You have one? Awesome. Let's do it. All right.
Can you take a look and see what we have to do next? Oh. We're on this stretch of road for at least another two hours. I'm gonna need a break soon. That's okay. We can break whenever you like. That was the plan, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I don't drive. Why don't you drive? Everybody drives. People don't believe me. It sounds weird, but it's true. When I was a kid, my friends and I were interested in cars. There was an old drive-in movie theater about a mile from my house, and we used to dream about being old enough to get our driver's licenses so that we could go there without our parents. But the drive-in closed, and we all started doing other things. Driving just never came up again. Next thing you know, I'm in my 20s and don't have a license. It's not too late. I didn't say I was never going to get my license. I just don't have it now, and it would be very convenient. Sorry. I know it's tiring being the only driver on a long trip. It's exhausting. <laughs> but we are saving a bundle on travel. So. Well, say the word, and I'll start looking for a place to camp out for the night. Start looking. Okay. Okay. Thanks for doing this, by the way. What? Don't even sweat it. I love an adventure. The bridesmaid dress my sister had me buy was crazy expensive. Flying to her wedding would have wiped me out. Well, thank you for making me your plus one. <laughs> You're too good to me, Mike. Nah. There's a ranger station about 20 minutes away. We can ask there about camping options. You direct us, and I shall get us there. I don't tell you so you don't get too discouraged. We've still got about two thirds of the trip to go. <sighs> well, you know what? It's all good. I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's uh, nice hanging out with you. Well, I hope you still feel that way when the whole trip is done. Ah, just don't eat anything that makes you too gassy. Let's go in. Okay. they have a washroom. They have to have a washroom. I'm sure it's a requirement or something. I don't see anyone. Hope this isn't one of those unmanned rest stops. The map said ranger station, so worst comes to worst, we could look at a brochure or something, but ranger station implies there is a ranger. There is. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. That's okay. <laughs> Truth be told, I, I don't get a lot of people coming through here, and uh, I was taking a nap. Oh, well, sorry to wake you. You don't have to apologize for me not being at my post. I, I normally have a, a bell above the door that... Well, never mind. What can I do for you folks? We've been driving a really long time. We were just thinking about finding a place to camp. Well, if you think you can drive for another hour, there's a bunch of motels out by the main highway. We'd rather not. I've been driving a long time. I'm the only one of us who drives, and my eyes are really tired from the road. You don't drive? It's a long story. Plus, we're trying to save on hotel costs. We're traveling across the country to get to a wedding. Yeah, sure. Well, we do have camping permits. How long were you thinking of staying? Just overnight. I gotta warn you, though. Uh, we don't get a lot of people through here, so it's not as well-maintained as some of the more touristy spots you might find on your trip. That's totally fine. We just need a place to crash. Okay, that we can do for you. What you want to do is, is go back to the road. On the other side, you'll see an arrow. Follow that until you come to a fork. Take the left side, you'll see a place to park. And after that, the whole forest is your campground. Huh? When you say you don't get a lot of people around here... You're it. I think you're the only campers we've had in over a year. Seriously? Seriously. When the big highway went in, people stopped coming. <laughs> Good thing you don't get paid per visitor. 
No offense. Don't worry about it. I'm technically a government employee and I have seniority, so I'm fine either way. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Um, how much do we owe you? Don't worry about it. You kids just have fun. Uh, are you sure? Will you get in trouble? If I told them I had campers, they wouldn't believe me anyway. No, well, thanks again. Be smart out there. Don't leave food out. In case of animals. Will do. <laughs> See ya. Have a good one. stretching my legs a bit taking a bit of nature well it is still early you got it let's have some good nature fun oh very funny <laughs> from the car yeah but it's a nice spot a little clearing a little bit of shade sure i suppose are you gonna remember where we parked when you wake up in the morning of course i will i'm a master outdoorsman oh of course you are yeah now watch as the master sets up some shelter <laughs> yeah hey uh, abby there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 nothing bad. I just wanted to thank you again for bringing me along to your sister's wedding. Of course. I mean, I know I'm your plus one and not technically your boyfriend or anything. What do you but... mean? Well, I really enjoy your company, and that's why I wanted to come along on this trip with you. No, I mean, what do you mean you aren't really my boyfriend? Uh-huh. Well, we spend almost all our time together. I mean, you've met my parents, who like you, by the way, and you came along with me on this trip with no questions asked. I'd say you are, indeed, my boyfriend. Mm, but we never formally... I don't think that's necessary, is it? Jeez. I already told all my friends you were my boyfriend. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, you weren't just about to let me down easy, were you? What? No, no, no. I was just going to ask you, you know, wanted to be my girlfriend or something? Oh, yes, sure, of course. Oh, good. Weird, I didn't think it'd go down like this. I think we should probably kiss now. Uh, how long ago did you tell your friends that I was your boyfriend? Three months ago. Well, happy three month anniversary. Let's get this tent up. Right. How you doing? I'm all right. You comfy? It's not the most uncomfortable I've ever been. <laughs> Should have brought those lawn chairs. No, no, you wanted to hike a bit. They'd have been a pain to carry. 
Well, maybe we should have camped close to the car like you wanted. Mike, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm having a good time. Would you be happier if I got the chairs? If you would be happier with a chair, that's up to you. I'm actually tired from the hike and the drive. I may not be able to keep my eyes open much longer. I should go get those chairs. Uh, Mike, don't worry about it. The snacks are in the car, too. Oh. Well, that's different. Mike, don't go. It's dark, and you don't know these woods well enough to do it. Look, I'm just kidding, okay? I'm not gonna go to the car. I'm just gonna go check the woods, take care of the little business, if you know what I mean. Promise? Promise. I'll be back before you know it. Mike? I told you not to go to the car. Where the hell is the car anyway?
it's me. Mike? Michael, thank God. You have to be careful, Abby. There's a wolf nearby. I heard it. I think it's been following me. I know. But it's okay now. I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm so tired. I know you are, Abby, but you have to stay awake. If you don't, the wolf will come back. Where have you been, Mike? I wanted to do something really romantic for you, but... I got lost. But it's alright. I'm here now. I found you, and I'm never going to leave you again. My leg's really messed up. I can barely walk. I don't know how much longer I can make it out here. I need to eat something. It'll all be over soon, Abby. Don't leave me again, Mike. I have some bad news, sweetheart. What is it? The fire went out. Now that I'm awake, am I, you sneaky asshole? Come and get me! Are you all right? Man, she's all kinds of messed up. Miss, are you all right? I don't think she heard me. She can hear you. I think she's in shock or something. Who are you? Whoa. Who the hell hey, are you? Whoa, whoa. We're friends, all right? Look. See? Friends. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to take my jacket off and put it on you. Okay? You might be in some sort of shock or something. This is just gonna help warm you up. We have a cabin nearby. Let's get you out of these elements. Side. Do you live here? No. We're coming to hunt. Sorry. None to be sorry about. Glenn, Albert. Why don't you get the stuff out of the truck? I'll help the lady get inside. No, no. Not that cabin. This one. What's in that cabin? You don't want to go in that cabin. That's where we take the animals we hunted, skin them, cut them up. Things like that. Not a place you want to be right now. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh my god, thank you. Can you please take this trap off my leg? It hurts so much. In a minute. You might have hit an artery or something. We don't want you to bleed out. Do you have anything to eat? I'm starving. I have some jerky. Oh, thank you.
Do you have a phone? No. No phones. What about a cell phone? One of you must have a cell phone. Look, we come here to get away. Go off the grid, as people are fond of saying. First rule is no phones. What if one of you has an accident? We don't have accidents. Right. Maybe one of you guys saw my friend? Your friend? I came here with my boyfriend, Mike. We got separated and I haven't been able to find him. I don't remember seeing anyone. What did he look like? Brownish curly hair, late 20s. He was wearing a blue t-shirt. I don't remember seeing anyone like that. Do you remember seeing anyone like that? I didn't see anyone like that. What about you, Albert? You recall seeing someone like that? No, nope, I don't think so. You know what? Now that I think about it, I do seem to remember someone down by the highway. You remember that, Len? You know what? I think you're right. Yeah, 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 a young fella down by the highway. You remember that, Albert? Yeah, that kind of rings a bell. Yeah, I think he was hitchhiking. Hitchhiking? Yeah, I mean, if he caught a ride, he could be miles away. We didn't stop to pick him up. You never know what kind of weirdos are out there. I don't know why he would be hitchhiking. We came in a car. Look, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe we saw him. Maybe we didn't. But right now, your leg's really messed up. We should probably do something about that. How far away is the hospital? <laughs> Don't you worry about a hospital. We can fix you up fine right here. Right. I think I'd rather go to the hospital if you don't mind. Look, with your leg right now like that, you can barely move. We'll fix you up here, then go to the hospital later. I don't know. <sighs> Let me get my stuff. Can one of you please take me to the hospital? Can one of you guys please take me to the hospital? No hospitals, all right? Look. Good old Tom's gonna take care of you, okay? Boys. Grab her arms. What? This is really gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I told you this was gonna hurt. Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> wakey, wakey, little snakey. I see you found your boyfriend. My mistake. I guess he wasn't hitchhiking. Who are you? What do you want? Relax. You'll hurt yourself. Why did you kill Mike? He didn't do anything to you. <laughs> I don't think you get it, sweetie. We are hunters. He's not an animal. You don't hunt people. We hunt whoever we damn well feel like. Are you gonna eat us? What are you talking about? We're not fucking weirdos that eat people. Then why are you doing this? We kill things because we like to watch them die. That's it. Oh my god. You're sick. I really don't think you're in a position to judge me right now. You can't do this. The cops will come. That ranger, he knows we're here. He'll send for help. What ranger? The ranger at the station near the parking area. He, he saw Mike and me come here. He'll know we're missing. I thought that place was abandoned. Haven't seen anyone there for years. Still, she says there's one back there. We can't take any risk. Albert, go to the ranger station, get rid of their car, and kill anyone you find there. Thanks for the heads up, sweetie. Here we thought we were all alone. Now we're really gonna have some fun. What can I help you with today? <laughs> well, there you go. Looks like Albert's done his job. What are we gonna do with her? What do you think we're gonna do with her, stupid? We came here to hunt. We're gonna hunt. She's all fucked up. It's not gonna be much of a hunt. The killing's my favorite part anyway. What are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna die. You can be sure of that. But, we're gonna give you a fighting chance. What? We're gonna let you go. You're gonna let me go? You get a 30 minute head start. Head out, pick a direction, and in 30 minutes, we're gonna come find you. And when we catch you, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Nothing we catch ever dies fast. You're insane. We could start the second part now if you prefer. No, no. Better get moving. This is 
is going to be the easiest kill ever. No. This is going to be the easiest hunt ever. I plan on making the kill hard. been it's been a half hour close enough closer. It's okay, miss. Help is here. <laughs> this guy came to my cabin. Tried to shoot me. But I heard him coming. There's two more of them. They're after me. Well then. <laughs> that shot. It's likely Albert. He might have met up with the girl. Shit. I hope it didn't kill her. Let's go find out. Come on. You can do it. My cabin isn't too far. We'll radio for backup. Get you the hell out of here. Hey, you stay with me. You made it this far. You're almost out of this. I'm sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Come on. Just a little longer. Son of a bitch. Did the girl do this? No. Must have been that ranger. Now she's got some help. Well, that makes things a little complicated. That makes things more interesting. Let's go. sun's going down. If we can stay out of sight until dark, it'll be a hell of a lot easier to avoid these guys. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Come on, kid. Didn't you tell me you had a wedding to get to? You've got to get through this. You've got places to be. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Whose wedding is it? Talk to me. Whose wedding? My sister. Older or younger? Hey, huh? older or younger? Older. My older sister, Shelly. Are you in the wedding party? Hey, stay awake. Are you in the uh, wedding party? I want to sleep. No, no, not yet. Oh, please, not yet. Come on. Are you in the wedding party? Come on. Talk to me. Bridesmaid? 
She would have made me the maid of honor, but she had a friend who guilt-tripped her into making it her instead. Less responsibility for you then, right? Come on, let's go. I need a doctor. Yeah, yeah, you do. The parking lot is closer. Maybe I can get you to my car instead. Are you ready? No. But I have places to be. That's right. Let's move. What's wrong? Stand back, kid. I think I tripped something. He'd given us the courtesy of living a few minutes longer. We could watch the life leave his eyes. Can't win them all, I guess. Let's make up for it with the girl. She sure as hell couldn't have gotten far. Then let's keep the chatter down. Come on. place to go. That ranger station. Besides, she's all fucked up. We had the upper hand. You're right. I know. And what I say about the chatter? You hear something? Yeah. You think it's her? Shut up for a sec. Go check. Wasn't her. It was a raccoon. Tedious. 
You're almost dead anyway. May as well let me put you out of your misery. You're dead meat! Get away from me. No. 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 Please send help.
Take the time to wake up. Take the time to shake your head. Make it up spirits while you lie. Sleep it dead. Roll around the covers, purple sheets you never clean. Searching for the words, but never say just what you mean. Mary Jane went walking in a field of white blue. Sucking out the milk, fly from all you want to do. Climb the mountain, reach the top, you better like the view. Cause everybody looks so small, if only people knew. Let her love you if you dare Cause ignorance is bliss The milk of human kindness In a velvet leather fist Leave the bottle open Leave a crack between the doors Lock up all the pain of life Let fall upon the floor Make a statement, make it loud It don't matter, no one hears Say it now, you never know Cause death is always near Picking up pieces left behind the civil war. Look into the future. No one knows what's in store. Leave a place where to go. You can see the light from here. And Mary Jane can help you. But the price is really dear. Mary Jane went walking in a field of white and blue. Sucking out the milk like the mud you want to do. Climb the mountain, reach the top, you better like the view. Cause everybody looks so small, if only people knew. Let her love you if you dare, cause ignorance is bliss. The milk of human kindness in a velvet leather fist. When the Queen of England comes for tea, it would be presumptuous to ask if Earl Grey was her favorite, like you'd heard from somewhere past. Sugar or cream, you'd better know, get it wrong, she'll hold a grudge. So step it tight, keep to the road, perhaps some chocolate fudge.